Happy Monday. Phil Lindemann with your midday news on Crystal 93. More than 1,000 people came to Rainbow Park yesterday to pick one of 2,000 pumpkins at the annual Silverthorne Pumpkin Fest. Celebrating her birthday was Elkie, turning five and cranking it to 11. Her favorite station here in the Rockies? The the best damn rock! A big thanks to Town of Silverthorne, Salida Circus, and all the other vendors at yesterday's Pumpkin Fest. And another late happy birthday to Elkie. You've heard about the weak La Nina cycle that's coming through this ski season, but Joel Gratz with Open Snow says don't be planning your season around it. We've had some phenomenal years here that were La Nina years, but also last year was a La Nina year and it wasn't so phenomenal. So it's just not quite that simple. La Nina simply describes water temps on the Pacific Ocean, which has a bigger impact on Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho snow than it does in Colorado and even Utah. I'm not here saying that... Uh, we got to get out of Colorado to see good snow this year. Uh, we can absolutely have great snow. Um, it's just the, the odds are tilted a little bit more in favor of areas to our northwest. Ski resort executives were drumming up excitement for the ski season at last week's COO Summit, where Loveland's Rob Goodell had big news for a 14,000-square-foot lodge upgrade at Loveland Valley. Inside seating capacity is going to almost triple. The ski and ride school children's center is going to be able to accommodate, we feel, enough for many years to come. Also debuting this winter are new guided cat tours on 500-plus acres just east of Lift 8. It, that has been several seasons in the making. It's been one week since the ptarmigan fire started burning above Silverthorne, and today, Summit Sheriff Jamie Fitzsimons has more good news. I am officially lifting the pre-evacuation order at 12 noon today, and that's for the neighborhoods of Hamilton Creek, Angler Mountain, South 40, and the areas of ptarmigan, including the Daly Ranch. The fire has not grown since last Wednesday, still burning on about 86 acres. The fire is by no means out. There's about 35% containment on the fire, but I've met with fire managers, and we are all uh, confident that this is the appropriate time to lift the pre -evac. Cause is still under investigation, and trails in the area remain closed to the public, same as North Pond Park. Forest officials are hosting an open house in Minturn today, answering questions about a possible power line from Avon to the Gilman Mine site above Red Cliff. Plans call for a nine-mile power line, including more than three miles on Forest Service property, most of it above ground. That means cutting trees. Meeting is from 5 to 7 p.m. at Minturn Town Hall today. In sports, the Broncos lost to the Ravens yesterday, 23-7. The Rockies lost their final game of the season to the Diamondbacks, 5-4. And in local sports, Summit Girls Volleyball lost to Palisade in three sets Friday. Boys Soccer beat Lutheran Saturday, 2-1. Summit Girls Rugby remained undefeated, beating Regis and Palmer at the, Regis Sevens tur at the Palmer Sevens Tournament. Cross Country hosted the Copper Mountain Cup, where the boys team took first, led by Dom Ramikas, getting his first overall win of the season. The girls team took second, led by freshman Ella Hagen, still racking up the wins. And today is opening day of the state golf tournament at City Park in Denver. Tigers ra golfers Ranger Stone and Ricky Alquist are on the course now. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.